In this video, I wanna talk about how to get the most out of your workouts and uh, how to always be continuing to get better results, get more results, and to continue to grow. And <clears throat> so there's uh, a few things I wanna talk about, but first, if you haven't seen the Trainerize client tutorial video that I made yet, you can find that on my YouTube channel under the Trainerize playlist. So check that out if you're unfamiliar with uh, kind of how the app works and you'd like to see all of that. But this video in particular is about the workouts themselves and how to, again, continue to get ongoing results and make sure you're pushing yourself um, and doing it in a effective way. And so I've created a system that I use for all my clients and I even use personally for myself. I've used it for many years and it's something I came up with to, again, make sure that I'm always getting results, that my workouts are progressively getting more intense. And yet starting out um, where I'm not overdoing it or my clients aren't overdoing it at the beginning in that first week of a new workout because that's a lot of times our issue as well as we get over excited and, and can do too much too quick uh, because we wanna get results and we wanna go hard. And so there is a, a proper way to do that because that is true. We gotta push ourselves to get those results. Um, but this system helps make sure we're doing it in a smart way and the most effective way as well. And so the first thing is if you go in your profile and you go down to the kettlebell icon in the bottom of the screen. <clears throat> this will host all your workouts and you'll be able to see uh, all the different programs that you've purchased. And if you click on a workout and um, go to it and start it, what will appear is the exercises obviously and underneath each exercise you'll see the amount of reps or um, the amount of time you're supposed to do an exercise for depending on what type of exercise it is. But on the right side, if you will notice, there's not gonna be anything in the first week, but if you've done a workout, let's just say you already completed a workout and now it's week two and you're going to do the same workout again, on the right side, you'll actually see a little number and it's going to be the amount that you did from your previous time you that, that you did this workout. And it's actually gonna be the maximum amount. So if you did three sets, whichever one was your best set, of the three is what number is gonna appear on that right side of the screen. So in week one, the first week that you're doing a new workout, even if you've been doing um, these workouts for a while, this uh, exercise program or training with me or just training in general, even if you have experience on week one, I want you to kind of um, make sure you're doing what you can handle. So the numbers that are there for you to do, the reps, uh, the time, whatever it is, even the amount of sets is somewhat of a suggestion for week one. It's to give you a goal, but you should do what you're comfortable with. You should not overdo it and over push yourself in that first week. Again, I talked about that, how we can be ambitious. We want to do a lot. Uh, make sure that you're doing it, the first week of a new exercise or a new workout, even if you've been training for a while, should be somewhat casual in a sense. It should be somewhat uh, easy going. You're just kind of doing the workouts, getting familiar with the new movements, uh, or if you haven't done the movements in a little while because you were just doing a different program or a different workout for a month or so, do them to a uh, level that you can handle comfortably and you're not going to be overly sore the next day. You're not going to hurt yourself, obviously, as well. And so that's week one. You don't necessarily have to hit the exact amount of reps or the amount of time or even the amount of sets that I have listed. Um, and maybe you can do more and that's okay too, as long as it's, again, within your comfort zone. Week two though, this is where, uh, this is kind of the point of this whole video and this is where it really gets important for you to understand how to do this. So week two, you have that number on the right hand side as we talked about, you're gonna, if you click on that, um, right now, it's only got just the maximum amount you were able to, but if you actually click on the number, it's gonna expand, it's gonna bring up every single set that you were able to do. And it will show you what you did on each set. So if it's a three set or a two set exercise, um, it's gonna show you the amount of reps you were able to do on each set or weight if you were using weights for the particular exercise. So what you're going to do 
uh, on the following week when you're going to do this workout for the second time. I'm just gonna click on that number and you're gonna see how many were, was I able to do. And the goal is obviously to increase um, if you were able to comfortably do all three sets for a certain amount of reps. So let's just say that number, you know, when you look on the right hand side is 15. You're doing bodyweight squats. This is just an example. And 15 is what you were shooting for. You click on it to see how much you got on all three sets. And sure enough, you got 15 reps on all three sets. And um, that will mean that this next week you're going to try to do more. So set one, I'm going to try to do more than 15, obviously. And even if let's just say I can only do just a couple more, maybe I do 17, that's okay. That's my new goal for all three sets. So set two and set three, I'm gonna also try to do 17 as well. And um, and just a side note, the beauty of this is you don't have to remember. I don't expect you to remember from week to week what you did and, and try to keep track of all that. This keeps track for you and it makes it super simple uh, to track your progress. And this is why it's majorly helpful. So you're going to go for 17 on all three sets. Let's just say that um, because you went up though, it's harder you get 17 on the first set, maybe even the second set, but the third set, you only get 15 again. Uh, maybe even do less than 15 because you're worn out. The following week, when you look at, again, what you did, if you see that you didn't get all three sets for the reps that you were aiming for from set one, then you're just gonna stay the same. You're just gonna shoot for that same number again uh, because what it tells us is that you, you had the strength to get it, but you didn't quite have the endurance to get it for three sets, and so or two sets if it's only a two set workout. And so that is, that's kind of the formula, and a, a very simplistic way of explaining it is just, if you get it for all three or all two sets, however many sets you're doing, um, then you're gonna try to go up. And, and there's no particular number you have to go up to, it's just basing it off of when you start doing it, how you're feeling. And so if you're, let's just say, maybe you could do 20, maybe you could do 25, that's okay. If you're not able to on the next set or the next uh, or the third set, um, that's okay as well because you obviously did a lot more and so it's gonna be more difficult. But the goal is from week to week to be slowly uh, doing more, slowly pushing yourself. And it gives you a visible goal of what you're trying to do and how you're trying to improve and push yourself. Because if we just kind of show up each week, do the same thing over and over, um, and again, trying to go off of my, my memory from what did I do last week, uh, it really, we're, you're not gonna see much results. You're just gonna kind of stay stagnant, stay the same, because your body's gonna quickly adapt and pretty soon um, stop pushing to change. So this is how we can continue to push and get more results. Um, and along with that, if you're doing a weight exercise, uh, it's gonna be slightly different. Obviously a timed exercise, there's kind of two ways you can go. If you're counting the reps you're doing within the time, you could just try to do more reps within the same amount of time uh, to push yourself. Uh, but we don't ever want to sacrifice form by trying to go you know, faster per se, depending on the type of exercise that it is. You know, If you're just trying to get more jumping jacks in a minute, that's okay. But certain exercises, we want to make sure we're keeping proper form and not just you know blasting through it with bad form to try to do more. So you could increase the time. That's the other way you make it more difficult. If you're doing push-ups for 45 seconds and you get it for all three sets, the next week you could try to go for 60 seconds and see how, you know what you can do. And so these are ways where you can improve with time. But with weight, it's slightly different because the rep ranges for weight exercises are gonna be specific to what your goals are. So if you purchase a program that is intended to help you put on muscle, the rep ranges that I have in there are the rep ranges for maximizing muscle growth. And so we don't really wanna play with the rep ranges with weighted exercises. If you're using any kind of um, dumbbells or kettlebells or anything like that, um, barbell, we want to keep the rep ranges the same, but from week to week, try to increase the weight. So if I'm able to do 20 pounds, again, it's the same exact way, um, but if the rep range is 12, I wanna stay at 12 reps for the most part. But if I'm able to do 20 pounds, on all three of the exercises, the next, or all three of uh, the sets of the exercise the next week, then I will increase. I'll try to go up to 25 pounds. And always obviously being safe. Um, if you're unstable or not confident and you are able to get all three sets, but you realize 
hey, I don't quite have the stability built up yet, then it's probably just best to stay the same in that weight or get a spotter to help. Um, but if you're at the point where you've done all three sets and you feel uh, confident that you can increase the weight, even if it's just slightly, uh, it's going to change your um, body. It's going to make you push harder. It's going to force your body to change because you're making it more intense. You're adding that slight that slight difficulty where it's increasing. And, and over time, you think for four weeks, six weeks, if you're doing a program, even if you're just increasing two pounds at a time, one pound at a time, over time that adds up quite a bit. And so for multiple sets as well. So the overall volume is going to increase quite a bit as well. So um, that is how you continue. And this is true for all the programs. That's how you continue to grow, improve, see results, and to push yourself. Uh, the only time where you would drop down potentially on exercise is if maybe I, uh, you know, really went hard on that first set. So if using our squat example again, if I did 15 squats and I was like, you know what, I got it all three, I'm going to really go for it. And set one, maybe I just bust out like 30 and I really push myself. Um, but if set two and set three, I drop drastically from that first number and I'm only able to do like, you know, 20 on set two and 12 on set three, that might be a time where I go, okay, you know, I just got a little overexcited on the first set. I'm going to drop back the following week or the next week to <clears throat> try to aim for a little less. But otherwise, as long as you're pretty close on all three sets, um, you can stay the same and just keep pushing yourself to get that number that you're aiming for on all three of the sets that you're doing. And once you do, that's when you can increase. Um, the only other thing I was going to mention is this video will be also within your workout. So when you go to that kettlebell and you see all your workouts, this introduction video will be there listed so that you can always come back to it, refer to it if you need a reminder on how to continue to get results. And the uh, only other thing I want to mention is you can also schedule all your workouts. If you go to the calendar at the top, once you go to a workout, um, you can schedule out all the workouts. And this is another great way to make sure you're getting results and keeping you accountable is if you go in ahead of time and you schedule out what days you're going to do what. Uh, it just it just helps. And it's going to show up then on your profile each day. You know, this is the workout you're supposed to be doing today. And it just helps give that extra level of accountability to make sure we're sticking with it, continuing to do it. And hopefully this system will also just give you some excitement to do the workout the next week to try to uh, improve and see how you can continue to get better. And as we do that, it also keeps us coming back. It helps you to want to come back to the workout and continue to do more when you're actually seeing those results. And so results really drive us to continue doing more and to continue growing. And it's important to see those. And so sometimes we don't see it visibly right away. And especially uh, when we see ourselves in the mirror every single day, it can take some time and looking back at some photos to really see those results. But if we could see on paper and if we can look back from week to week and see, you know, I'm getting stronger, I'm improving, uh, that really does help to keep us coming back and to continue to get those results. So hopefully this will be helpful for you.